Hey guys, so I just received this nice full face helmet from Outdoor Meister. They do come in different colors and just want to show you as well to demonstrate uh, and um, they do have really nice ventilation inside. The harness inside all removable. I did replace this uh, Chicks harness with uh, 22 millimeters. They, they come also with two sets. One is 22, which I just installed it. And this one is 18 millimeters, the original, which came pre-installed. So basically it's just a clipping. You just remove it and install the one you want based on the face size. And I'm gonna show you how it looks on me. But before doing that, I'll show you as well these goggles, which is great for outdoor as a, uh, for mountain biking or just crow, like dirt biking or whatever like you planning it comes with uh, different colors they also have different colors as well different shades and it comes with a nose protector which is really good as here it feels like uh, like very hard uh, soft outside material and the nice rubber band with a brand outdoor master uh, I'm gonna show you how it looks both because I'm gonna test it out today and to show you but don't buy it yet Let me show you how it looks and we're gonna go test it out Outdoor and I'm gonna ride this uh, Milot uh, Imoped style bicycle for outdoor today and to test it out as well So that's how it's gonna look once you put it on uh, the reason I change uh, from 18 to 22 millimeters because it looks not only like better but it sit better so it's give you better for my cheeks it's all depend on the size of the face they come in few different sizes so if you wear a size let's say 59 then um, centimeters around your head then i recommend to go with the large one and let me show you how it will look with 22 millimeters for my face it's good it feels real good and light easy movable and i'm gonna put it on this goggles as well let me do this way wow actually the color looks good outside it's uh, pretty comfortable i didn't even adjust it right out of the box and let me show you how it looks on the side of the back what do you guys think? Like it? And now we're gonna go for a ride and see how we're actually performing outdoor. If it's comfortable, actually it feels real good. And it might be a little bit hot because it's about 75 degrees right now, but on the sun it's maybe over 80. But let's go and try it out. And I'm gonna ride there on this Milot DK300 Pro bicycle. And how do you like the helmet? We're gonna go through different speed actually before get to the off-road mode. Uh, this helmet actually designed for mountain biking so it's not for high speed and again i love the color how the air going through the helmet and today is the perfect day to use this helmet because it's very hot today so let's go so i'm gonna ride actually on sidewalk as many people love it and ask me to ride on the sidewalk only so for all these lovers of sidewalk welcome to join my channel to see how safe i'm riding on sidewalk i'm only going about 50 miles an hour because i'm gonna pedal kind of warm up before going up hills and as you can see i recorded actually on my phone uh, the helmet so you can see how cool i'm uh, wow it's actually real nice green light uh, i would ride on the street probably over here but i want to exercise so i don't want to go very slow like i will get ghost pedaling if i start to pedal this bike over 20 miles an hour but it might be really nice to pedal off-road because off-road you get about 15 to 20 miles speed and uphill it's about 10 miles or even less sometimes so this bike didn't do well on throttle only but i think it can do pretty good uh, on pedaling and it's very bouncy so it should be like the rear shock really bouncy so it should be real nice so it's about three miles uh, almost three miles right on the sidewalk and then uh, off-road 
it's about three to four miles actually round trip and the top speed I got about 30 miles at least on this bike 29 now but I know if I go back, like, uh, back home, it's much faster because it's a little bit downhill. So it means over here it's a little bit uphill. So it's a little bit uphill, 28 mile an hour, which is good. And very solid, smooth ride on this bike. Feels really good. So it does come with a horn. And I'm almost to the point where I'm gonna go off-road now. Now I'm gonna go right over here and push the green light. So 29 miles so far, a little bit uphill, not really much, but a little bit. So if I go back home, we will get about 31, 32 miles now, most likely. All right, so I'm off-road now. That's what I call it, off-road. It's a more fire lane, but actually the road after the rain, it's not really good anymore. But the main point to see if you can climb the hill. Some of the hills over here very steep. So also to see how it feels to ride this bike on this ground as well. And so far it's doing good, but we're gonna have like really good road over here which is actually not that good and let's see hopefully over here very dangerous wow actually <laughs> it's doing good uh, for so far it's doing good i didn't expect as good so far because the rear suspension <laughs> takes all these bumps and the fork is doing good so far and i need to put a pedal assist level too so it's not bad at all over here i probably slow down and i feel like i'm on a motorcycle but a little bit small like so this is some bicycle behind me i'm gonna let it go that one is mostly for mountain mid drive but probably with a lot of power this bicycle not meant to be for off-road to be honestly but i put it to the test to see how it will perform as well because people use it for different purposes the seat is short everybody already know most likely but so far i have no complaint today because i wear like uh, bike shorts they come with some nice memory foam underneath so it's very soft but need to switch to gear number three most likely pedal seat level five and i will try to pedal it okay hopefully i'll make it oh yeah Actually, it did. So far, it's made first hill. All right, so let's go downhill over here for off-road. So far, the first hill made it with my assistance. The bicycle not very strong power, but uh, it's more for higher speed design, uh, 30 miles an hour about. That's what I got. On throttle only, I'm not sure what happened, but maybe overheated. It does not really go fast right now. I think uh, I might just overheated the bike. It's only like go six months an hour. I'm gonna probably go over here to wait until the controller maybe cool down or motor because let's see how fast you can go without any load
Okay, it still can go up to the top speed, which is 28 miles right now. So that's good. But for some reason, when I was just riding, I didn't feel any power much from throttle. Let's try one more time. But again, I'm gonna pedal mostly. Okay. Now it's uh, okay. Now I feel it. So I'm not sure what happened to it, but I guess it would need. It want some break from abuse and at least no air cord so far and i'm gonna pedal mostly pedal assist level 5 i'll put but now i don't get any power I'm not sure why probably overheat it that's weird i think uh, the motor probably overheat it or controller I'm not sure because i'm losing the power like let me stop again all right guys so i'm gonna cut this video shorter as i expected so i'm gonna also show you how the speed on the road later on maybe but today i want to tell you that this bike it's great for commuter very comfortable smooth ride the few things i don't like it's a seat a bit too short on this bike as you can see it's a little bit shorter than most of the e-moped styles have longer seat so if you're looking for like more comfortable long distance ride it's still a bit comfortable but you cannot carry a second passenger because it's a single passenger bike and for off-road as of today i took it for off-road to see how comfortable the bike is in the mountains it's doing pretty good on the ground so the sh shock rear shock and front suspension works pretty good actually it's about at least 80 millimeter travel uh, i can see based on the grease very comfortable i never got even bottom out on the sh front suspension so as a riding experience it would be great on fire lanes but once you start to go uphill i notice something to do with controller it's probably overheated so the bike losing the power due to probably too much uh, torture for this bike so if you need something for off-road you don't have to really looking anywhere else you can check link in description because they do have special dual motor bike which will come with two motors and that bike you can go basically anywhere probably because you'll get double power and that bike should climb any hill again it's a very budget price very well built bike i would say very good quality as uh, parts and uh, tires uh, the motor it's pretty good actually never gave me any issue just right now i notice it's losing the power and that's usually happens when the too much um abuse to the bike under the heat and it's losing the power when i'm starting to drop. but it's normal no air cold so far uh, i use only one battery at this moment so maybe i should use both of them to give you more power the headlight is on all the time the daylight so i do have some issue with it as i mentioned before not really a huge deal but hopefully they can fix it by replacing the controller so far they still didn't decide what the issue with it so it's something to do with the settings most likely it's not like a really problem with the bike itself the bike didn't give me any problem so far at all i rode it almost 45 or almost 50 miles so far like 45 miles i believe it's a very smooth ride i would say so if you're looking for a very good price dual battery which is 30 amp uh, batteries both and uh, nice headlight with a horn basically this bike comes with everything you want to very comfortable that's a great e-moped style bike and the pedaling it's not bad actually when you're going under 20 miles an hour if you want to pedal faster you may want to upgrade the front crank set so this chainery i guess that's the name right right and then you should be fine to go more than 20 miles an hour without ghost pedaling but if you're going uphill uh, it will allow you to switch gears uh, very comfortably i didn't i rode on uh, gear number uh, three so far uphill and i made it to the steepest hill but i decided not to go further because i didn't feel any power in this bike to go and i didn't want to waste your time 
and I'm just gonna go back because I should get something else in the mail but thank you guys for watching if you like this bike check link in description thank you for supporting this channel by liking and subscribing I want to talk to you about this helmet so the helmet is great has a lot of ventilation as I uh, rode it a little bit in the mountain in very hot weather right now um, I didn't really sweat in the helmet just a little bit neck looks like wet but it's all washable easy uh, very nice uh, visor because it's very long and give you good protection from the sun uh, about the glasses it fits uh, the goggles they fit really good and uh, actually uh, I feel like a bit sweating but so far looks good and they're very clear and they also give you very good protection for your nose over here so if you're looking for good goggles they're pretty actually nice with the protection for your nose if you're riding off-road or like in a area where there's a lot of debris is gonna be dust so it gives you a really nice protection at the same time a lot of ventilations the helmet perform really good for outdoor there's a lot of space so if you're riding like um, uh, just be prepared if the debris can go inside and um, some of the holes over here I think the bee went through and came out from one of the holes while I was riding on the street but on the top there will be some protection from debris on the back because of the harness all washable very light you don't really feel it as much and nice ventilation so if you like it check the link in the description they do have different colors and they do have different colors for the goggles as well I'm gonna list the link for the website thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.